Hey, what's up guys? What we've got here today is uh, the Node MCU, which is an Arduino compatible board based on this little onboard board here, the ESP8266-12E. 8266 and basically this Node MCU thing here is just a breakout for this. And it can be programmed using the Arduino IDE but it does take a little bit of installation like any other board, you know, that's not from Arduino. You have to put in the board description and download some drivers, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got set up here. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is I've got it spanning two breadboards. And the reason for that is if you try and plug this into one breadboard, it is going to span from the furthest point north to the furthest point south, leaving you nowhere to plug anything in. So you're going to span two breadboards, or you can get yourself one of these um, baseboards, and there will be a video upcoming on that. Next, uh, this is a three volt device. Let's zoom in. Okay. So we have a three volt pin on this side. We have a three volt pin on this side. Let me bring this up closer for you. Let's see if we'll zoom in here. Hey, look at that even focused. Okay. Three volt pin there. Three volt pin there. Ground there. Look at that ground there got a ground over here there's a ground down there there's a three volt plenty of places to plug in okay so all I've done here is I've run three volt out to this rail connected this rail to the center this one to this one this one to this one and this one is the ground. So we have basically a circuit here. And then coming off pin D0, which is you know just the first I.O. pin, I place this yellow LED that has a resistor soldered onto the cathode. And we're going to install the software and drivers for the Node MCU and basically run the Blink program. So this is just a pretty simple getting started. All right, let's go take a look at the install process. Okay, the first step in installing the Node MCU so that you can use it with the Arduino IDE is going to be to come to File, Preferences, and right here we see Additional Boards Manager. You are going to need to type this in. And it'll be in the link down below so that you can copy it. Then we're going to go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. And it's going to download this platform index. All right, once that's done, we're going to come down here to Contributed. And you're going to see right here this ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. You're going to want the latest version and click install and wait for it to go through this little thing right here. Depending on your internet speed and how busy the servers are, this could take a minute or two. So I'm not going to sit here and make you watch it. I will be back when it's done. Okay. Installation completed. And we can click close. Okay, now we come over to Tools, 
board. And we're going to come down here and find the node MCU 1.0. This is the ESP 12E module. Click on that. And we're going to come back in here. We're going to make sure our frequency is set for 80 megahertz and our upload speed is set for 115200. Now we are ready to do a little bit of programming. Alrighty, here is a version of the Blink sketch for the Node MCU. We are defining LED pin on D0. Pin mode LED pin set for output. Digital right LED pin high. Delay for a second. Digital right LED pin low, delay for a second. And you can see I've already compiled it. It uses 222,209 bytes, 21% of program storage space. That is insane that it's using that much space. Global variables use 38% of dynamic memory, which is interesting because. I didn't declare any variables. All right, well, let's plug it in. And find out what port it's on. There we go. Com4, interesting. That's the same as my Uno, but that's okay. And we will ship it. See how long this takes. Hopefully, it wouldn't be too long. And you can see uh, down here Node MC 1.0 ESP.12E module, 80 megahertz, 115, 200. 4M, 3M spiffs on COM4. Alright, I'll pause this till it's ready to upload so you don't have to watch it compile. Alright, here we've got our uploading. You can see the traveling dots. Thirty-six percent. Seventy-two percent. So I assume this time it will be 100%. And why it keeps giving me these library errors, but I'll worry about that later. So that's it. Done uploading. Let's go and take a look at it. Well, there you have it. As you can see, we're powered up. with the USB and there's our LED blinking away once per second so it's pretty simple to program the node MCU using the Arduino IDE and the bastardized version of C++ that the Arduino uses we'll do some more uh, videos on this little board later on it was a uh, considerably slower compiling and uploading than say a standard Arduino or even an Arduino compatible like this feather from Adafruit so keep that in mind if you're looking for these if you're impatient like I am all right if you like this please give me a thumbs up share comment and subscribe I'll catch you later